Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome back to Pikmin 2. We finished up doing everything in the Awakening Wood, so now it's time to go after the stuff that's left here in uh, this place. That, for some reason, I, Valley of Repose, I cannot remember the name of that for some reason. And I don't really know why. Uh, we gotta try and... Uh, Get whatever treasures are left here, we have a little bit more of the debt to repay. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really remember, um... Uh, what the heck is gonna be going on here. <laughs> it would also probably help to, uh, gather up some more Pikmin. We haven't really been focusing too much on that, and it's starting to show, aside from the reds. We don't really have to worry about the reds. And our purple friends are suffering a bit, unfortunately. You are already getting to work. Good job on taking the initiative on that one pellet, I guess. <laughs> ah, but we haven't been here in a while. So there's going to be some more need to explore, I think. Uh, we already know... Uh, down this way, there's really nothing to get because that's where we found Louie. But there's a whole area up past the Emergence Cave up this way that we have yet to do anything with. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna do that. Come on, purple guys. There we go. I'm gonna try and treat... The purple Pikmin as, like, diligently as possible. Just cause... I... I really have been taking, like, too many hits with how many purple Pikmin I'm losing in the caves. I don't... I don't want to end up in a situation where I've just gotten none, you know? But still, they are incredible. Incredibly, incredibly helpful for uh, gathering up stuff in caves and heavy items and things like that. Uh, and had a bit of a ping on the treasure radar somewhere around here. And what do you know? Water. So I'm gonna have to dismiss everyone here for a second. Grab our blue guys. See what's up. See what we can find. Ah, well, we have a shortcut back to camp this way. That's nice. And there's a gate there, and... Huh. Treasure radar's going nuts, but there's nothing there in sight. Which means something tells me we need to break this down and drain the water. So we can get uh, white Pikmin over there. I would assume, anyway. Oh, hi, you're a Snagret. And there's something buried here, too, it looks like. So we're gonna have to also deal with you in a, in a little while. Um, let's have Louie loop back around. And... Gonna need lots of blues, it seems we want to quickly get down that gate. So we can grab the blues that went this way. I already heard the gate get knocked down a little bit. Here, let's put some yellows back. Put our yellows back for now. Until they all get in the thing. There we go. Um... Take out a bunch of blue Pikmin. Just a bunch. A whole crowd of blues. Yeah, you guys you guys can take care of that. It's fine. Ah, oh, dear. We'll throw the blue guys up here for Olimar to take care of. And they're not going to let me... And I accidentally called Olimar down. Darn it. Ugh. Okay. 
Pikmin automatically attacking things kind of threw me off there. No, 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 no. Just them. Just them. That's all I want. That's all I want. Crazy taxi. Um. Yeah. So we've got both a Snaggerat to fight and another piece of treasure that needs unburying. I guess technically we don't have to fight the Snaggerat, but the Snaggerat's probably going to be very much in the way. Oh, and this guy's actually almost done. Alright, cool. That works. Ah, and yes, we have one of these. And a bridge that needs building, and water dumples, and very blow hogs. Drain the water. And now, our Pikmin should be able to very easily get over this way. Get over here. We can have Olimar come loop around with the white Pikmin after we take care of the bird here. Take care of you as quickly as possible. Already lost a few. It's bound to happen, though. Oh, get back up here. You're dead. Stop being... Stop... Excuse me? Excuse me? You have no health! Can you not? Can you not be a dirty cheater? Jeez! <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if we're done with zombie snagrits, let's throw the white Pikmin up here and have Louie grab them. See if they can start unburying whatever's buried over here. Or something's not buried? Wait, what? Oh, is it something up on the stump there, maybe? I guess something's not buried here. I could have sworn. Oh, well. Something definitely should be buried up here, though. Yep, there we go. Looks like it's some kind of ring. A ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. We're just gonna have... You guys take care of that, and I'm gonna continue to take the blues back around to build bridges and stuff. No, no, no. Alright. Got that back, okay. Or the hundred Pokos! We have the Pink Menace. Neat. Alright, alright. Now! Dismiss. Throw the blue guys back up here. Switch back to Louie. Call them over here. Full squad of 50 blues. Not bad. And, uh, I guess we'll continue exploring. Let's see. Unless one I was detecting is on the other side of a wall here somewhere. Can we get up there? there? It must be something on top of the stump there. If it's not where I thought it was, then I guess we'll just have to figure that out. Get rid of you. Oh, he got a couple of them. Darn. Did not kill the water dumple fast enough. Oh boy, a cannon beetle. Okay. 
Oh, this is the one where it's like magnetized. The cool thing is, is that you can lead your own boulders into him. Okay, I get it. Here, the green one, I got, I got confused. I thought that the green one was the one with like the magnetic boulders, but in fact, it is the red armored cannon beetle. Uh, up here, I think actually. No, I thought there was, I thought there was something on top of the snowman we had to get. Apparently not, though. Ah, oh, yeah, and this guy. Forgot about that guy. Now, that's a flamey bulborb that we need reds to take care of, usually. But, uh, as it turns out, there ain't no reds nearby. Let's do it. Over here. See? We can definitely use boulders to our advantage. Take care of enemies without too much of a problem. And we're uh, immune to fire now, so the fiery blowhawks can't actually really do anything to us, which is neat. Boulders, however, are still uh, kind of on uh, the uh, doom list. <laughs> Yeah. Honestly, taking care of stuff with the cannon beetle really does make life a lot easier. <laughs> the perfect shield. It's blowhawk shaped. Now that we've cleared things out over here, we can grab our blues and get to building that bridge so everyone else can get across. Out of dumb. All right. Everyone, get to work there. Good job. Ah, day's already winding down. We might not be able to make it to a cave in time. Can I get you to be destroyed by your own boulder? It's really quite easy, actually. It, like, barely takes any effort. <laughs> and hey, uh, good work on that bridge, guys. Takes care of that nice and easy. Saw a poison gate up there. Rather, a gate covered in poison things. Wondering if I should have, uh... Kept you alive longer. I don't know. Might have been a mistake. We got you to deal with. You're a watery blowhawk, so our blue guy shouldn't have too much of a problem with you. Very cool. We're gonna need the white Pikmin over there. Let me just take a quick look at the radar and make sure I'm not ditching anyone anywhere. You know, everyone else is still back at camp. Ah, oh, But, um... Oh, this is the snowman with something on top of him, I think. Ah. Uh, day is winding down. Didn't really get to a cave or anything. Which is unfortunate. But I mean... Oh, there's another cannon beetle up there. That's right. It's like around the corner. Gotcha. Uh, well... Time's counted down already. <laughs> Yeah, Pikmin 2 days definitely seem to be, like, a lot shorter in length, it seems. Probably because they expect you to be going into caves and junk. So, I mean... Didn't really get much accomplished here. Did find a cave, though. Do we uh, dare attempt diving into a cave with only Louie and 50 blue Pikmin? Yet another cave discovered, venturing to the farthest reaches has proven rewarding. You may be tired of walking, but just one last leap remains. Now, get, get to that treasure. Well, what kind of cave is it? Ah, oh, looks like we need a little bit of everyone, so never mind. We, I guess, will do that tomorrow.
And just another double check. Nobody lying around. Everyone over there should be fine. They're right in camp. Yep. That is indeed the end of a day, it looks like. So, not the most terribly eventful of times, but, you know, that's how it works. Progress is progress, and we still manage to get a piece of treasure. Everyone blasts off. Fiery Bulbor, Bulblax, whatever his name is, uh, seem to feel like moving in there. But exploring should become much easier now that we have every type of Pikmin. We got the Pink Menace. Nice. And only increases growing a few Pikmin of each variety, except for the two special ones. And unfortunately, a few got eaten today. Not pleasant. Not pleasant indeed. Ah, mail from the president. Some wild animals are nesting under the bridge. They think I'm their pal or something. My stylish suits are covered in hair. I'm pitiful, but at least they're warm. Oh. From hardship comes new friendships. Okay. Can't hang in there, Mr. President. We'll, uh, we'll get to helping you soon, I'm sure. Anyway. That's going to be it for today, for this day. Thank you very much for watching. This is your good friend Sparky, signing off for now. And I'll catch you later. The game has been saved.